Yo, what up, YouTube? It's Bryce doing episode 7 of uh, Yugi Morns. Today, we're going to be talking about this card and whether it would be good or not if it had 1500 attack instead of 1900. Uh, first, we're going to discuss the positives that would still exist. They're the same positives as now, basically, that you can negate the summon of any synchro or any Xyz monster. And also, you can negate any sort of inherent special summons. Dark Arm Dragon, Blackluster Soldier, and JD, for example. Also, Thunder King would still be a light for BLS. And then also, the fact that Thunder King stops searching, another reason that makes him good. So he has two really good effects, and those would basically still be in effect, so he'd still be good, alright? But also, on the other hand, a lot of things would be able to beat over him. Uh... Beige, for example, would be able to beat over him. Uh, Venus would be able to beat over him without even having a Gachi Gachi on the field. Uh, Stratos could beat over him. Granted, he'd still negate Stratos' effect, but uh, Stratos could beat over him. Breaker could beat over him even after popping a back row. Uh, just stun cards could attack over him. Doom Cal and Kaiku. Any of the vanilla dinos from the rabbit deck could beat over him, and that'd be bad. And then, obviously, most importantly, Reborn Tengu could attack over Thunder King. <laughs> so, yeah, all of these cards could attack over him. So, that makes him a lot less good. And also, just other random stuff would be able to get over him, like Lila and Garoth if you ran into Light Swarms. Uh, Gen X Neutron and Karakuri Quick could both attack over him. And then all these GBs could attack over him, Akastokari and Darius. So that would make GBs really good, but... Yeah... Thunder King Ryo. If it had 1500 attack, it would be a lot less good. <laughs> uh, basically, I think that if it had that much lower attack, it would still be a good card because of being able to negate all this stuff, but it would be more of like a tech card or a side deck card like it used to be than a straight up main deck staple like it is now, basically. So yeah, I think at this point, if Thunder King wasn't around, it would actually be a lot different, the game. So, this card having longer, lower attack would be pretty game-changing. Uh, if you guys agree, then good, you're smart, basically. <laughs> and yeah, that's basically it for today's video, guys. I don't know if I'm going to be doing one for tomorrow morning, because I have work today, but I guess we'll see, and peace.